Right, I'm going to see if I can do a vid to explain like a sort of true full set and a tensioning of security pins. I've marked that lock up so you can see two marks there. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep using a long one of the long picks so I can kick, kick my hand out of the way but obviously it's going to make it harder. All I'm doing now is to try and get it into a false. Now that has moved, but if I release the tension, you can hear the pins click back. That's not a true set, full set rather. But oh, this is a bit. Difficult trying from back here because it's not my normal style of picking, but it should give you the best view. If fucking hell, and that's extremely light tension opening a lock without going into a full set. Fuck my old boots, I've never done that on camera before. That's what I was explaining in a post, anyway. Back. So what I was trying to show if I can get it into a because that's all I'm doing searching for the full set at the moment. Come on, you bastard. Is that moved? Is that a false? Fuck's sake. I picked this one because it'll go into a false easy. I don't fucking believe this, that is right to open. And I've lost my tension wrench. Oh dear. What's going on here? Don't think this one is long enough. That might be, might fall out though. I'll have the Mikey syndrome. Just go into a full set, you bastard, will ya? Video. Just play ball. See whether I can get it into a force. 
I say put that to the wind. Harry Gomez is just a, he's an incredible athlete. He's got, he's got no weakness. He's one of the best athletes in the world. Um, on his day, he's absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> Right, back again, boys and girls. Had to format the memory card, so I ran out of space. I've taken the liberty of knocking that into a full set because for some reason this refuses to go into a full set on camera. But as you can see, you can take your tension wrench out and leave it, and it will just stay there in a full set. Now, let's see if I can sort of demonstrate the security pin procedure. Um, you need hardly to apply, hardly need to apply any tension to it. Just rest your finger on it, and then you go down the pins. And you should be able to feel one that pushes back up against you. It's normally one of the, the high ones, but we'll have a go. And there's one right at the back there. That's pushing up, but I don't think you'll be able to see that too well. You might be able to, but being at the back, when you set these, you've got to make sure you're on top of that pin and that pin only. Because you don't want to hit another pin. Like that, but I'll see whether I can knock it back into a false again, like that. Make sure I'm in a proper false. Let's see, going on the pins. See, I'm getting a little bit of counter rotation there, but I'm having to put an, an awful lot of pressure on it. And if I carry on doing that. I will reset the lock. Let's see, because it's right at the back. Let's see whether I can get it with this one. Now, another one's popped up. So, there, you should be able to see the counter rotation quite if you keep your eye on the wrench. See the counter rotation? Now the idea, as I said before, is to get right on top of that pin, slowly press down, tension wrench will rise, but you keep tension on it, so it don't flip all the way back up, and hopefully, that should go now, because it's dropped, it goes again like that. Very, very hard to explain, and it's even quite hard to show, So, but I hope you get the idea of what I was on about. Anyway, thank you very much.